So I don't really know a lot about Third Strike. One thing that I do know about is that Third Strike is a perfect example of a game that isn't really very commonly played. I know there's like this yearly tournament thing that is kind of big, but saying that Third Strike is like an actively played game, that's kind of a stretch, you know? Um, there is a small audience for it, just like there is one for Street Fighter 4. Um, in my opinion though, they are, look, here's the sad part about this. Fighting games aren't really worth playing if the community is stagnant. You can disagree with that um, all you want, but this is how I see it. If, um, if there are new faces that commonly enter the scene, then a fighting game to me personally is dead. Uh, Third Strike is kind of interesting, but at the same time, problematic. Um, people overhype the parries in Third Strike. They were like, Third Strike parries are hype, and they're commonly referred to as like a very high skill thing. When in reality, uh, Third Strike parries are more lenient than Street Fighter V parries, uh, at least when it comes to Ryu. Um, Ryu only has seven frames, uh, seven active frames on the parry, and in third strike you get ten. So it's more lenient in third strike, and not as punishable. So it's actually not a high skill option at all, and it's so stupid for people to keep complaining about like easy parries in Street, Street Fighter Five when there's only like a handful of parries that are actually easy, like the Chun Li one. It completely dominates the discussion around SF5 and brings back uh, people who say, Oh, back then we had skillful parries. When there's no risk involved in Third Strike, it's kind of amazing how casuals will make crazy claims like that. Oh, wow, what? The Chun Li CA parry is easier in Street Fighter 5, and that's because of the buffer that you get on tight parry timings. But other than that, the general parry, single parries, are always more difficult in SF5 because more startup and less active frames. Malik, are you saying that more people play on fight gate than SF5? Are you telling me the act the the people are more active in third strike than they are in SF5. Because I wanna I would love to see some data to back that up. Because I highly doubt that's true. The re the reason why the parry in SF5 is so useless for high level play, the reason why in season one you barely saw parry from Ryu players is the recovery on it. Every parry, every missed parry, is basically like missing a Shoryuken. You don't get to just mid-screen do a lot of random Shoryukens on high level. You die if you do that. Oh wow, that was just barely not in range. This guy's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Just does that. Oh my god, no! No! <laughs> I got absolutely wrecked right there. What a way to lose the win streak.
<laughs> I should have just done Donkey Kick instead. <laughs> uh, and he even got a league up for that. God damn it. so many mistakes just because I want to get a stylish ending. God damn it! That was a disaster just because I want to have a stylish ending there. Uh, <laughs> that was totally on me. That was totally my fault. Why am I so happy? It was funny at least, right? Not a problem. I don't really get frustrated if, if I know it's like what, it was my fault. I lost this not because of lag or some kind of nonsense. I lost this because I was in control and I gave it away, which means next time I just need to do better, you know, like there's a lesson to be learned here and because of that I can always stay I can always stay like I don't get salty from losses like that See, like, there's nothing scary happening here. Nothing scary is happening. All you have to do is wait for him to make a mistake, and then punish him hard. It's really all you have to do. I, this fascinates me. Fight. Oh my god, that medium punch. Switch kicking in. <laughs> Round two. I think he did not do that twice in a row. Unbelievable. Stupid to finish him off there. Oh, 
I'll take that. <laughs> you win. <laughs> oh man. That entire game was absolutely insane. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, man. Let's go. You win. What a match. Yeah. Those were some interesting reads. Uh, what am I doing? Angelic Star with the bits on top of that. Very much appreciate it. Oh wow, did he die? Oh, not quite. Oh my god! Oh, oh, thanks, lag! Wow! I got fucked by lag hard! Hi, Jimmy. Waving hand. <laughs> Up us with the gifted subs on top of that. God damn it, that level 3 hype train. Oh wow, I accidentally pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Yo! 
Oh my god, I almost lost! Oh my god! I mean, there are many, meaningful decisions. We have to decide between axe kick and axe kicks. Like, do you hold down back or do you axe kick? Or do you do crouching medium kick into Tatsu from a range where it's safe even on block? That's some wild decision making that you have to do. Okay, almost 10 wins now. <laughs> I still got the stun, damn. Like, yeah, like, why would you kill yourself in this fashion? English speakers are not going to do fancy R's. Oh, because of Schadenfreude. Freude. Uh, that's an unusual sound, right? I keep forgetting about that. I also like, um, when I was at university, there was this girl, uh, what's her name? Haley, Haley, right. And she said she struggled with um, Umlaute. I'm not sure what the English word is, but basically the... The the, the characters with dots in German. I was like, what do you mean? And she was like, it's like it's very hard to pronounce these. And that's when it like I realized, oh, these words do not exist in English. Like these uh, sounds. Umlaut, it's the same word, really. So in Germany we have uh, an A, 
Like A's, U's, and O's with double dots on top of them, right? And that is A, U, and U. And I didn't realize for a long time these sounds do not exist outside of... Or do not exist in English. Really, no tech. <laughs> I tried to block that. Ugh, almost lost. 